UPDF has launched the second artillery strike that has hit two more camps of the Allied Democratic Forces in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Very close to where uh, the initial strikes were. Kambiayu, Belu 1 and Belu 2. So last night we engaged targets very close to those. The ADF were trying to regroup at the time these artillery strikes were conducted against them. The intelligence uh, has been pointed. Other positions in that general in get triangle. Security has been intensified at the Uganda Congo border to ensure safety of locals living within the jurisdictions. <laughs> There was uh, an attack in, in Mangina a few days ago where many people were killed. Uh, our intelligence is showing that uh, they are now on the loose because of this uh, operation. So even our people this side of the border I need to be very cautious. I will appeal to leaders, to communities, to be vigilant because they may attempt uh, to come to our rear here and uh, cause havoc to our population. FADAC forces have already accessed the camps that were first hit when UPDF launched the initial offensive. If RDC has, uh, because those camps are uh, near the positions of uh, if RDC, the armed forces for the Democratic Republic of Congo, with whom we are operating in this operation. It is a joint operation, as you know, for them they have reached those camps. The army has dispatched troops across Mukakati River Semuliki Bridge to join FADAC forces. The road is key in the operation since it will be used to transport logistics as crucial tactical operations continue to ravage ADF activities. The purpose of launching uh, our troops across the Vasemulik is to make them move quicker uh, and be able to join the FRDC to comb all these areas together.